And I think you all know that the need for reform is only underscored by recent efforts in Arizona to address our country's immigration challenges. The Arizona law, SB 1070, I hope, by the way, at some point it's put in the dustbins of history, was very concerning <laughs> because, as you know, it puts a significant burden on local police and raises questions about discrimination and profiling. In fact, it may undermine the very efforts of local law enforcement to keep communities safe, as many law enforcement officials have noted. So where does that leave us? Well, it puts it back as it should be on the shoulders of those of us who serve in the United States Congress. We need to find a common sense federal solution to our immigration challenges that address the concerns of localities and states. So let me conclude on this note. Whether it's energy, education, health care, or the economy, we need to carry the message that the Hispanic community, and my speech here says, deserves a seat at the table. Well, I want to say this. The Hispanic community is at the table, will be at the table, has always been at the table. And I think Bill Clinton put his finger on it. He said America is a strong country, not in spite of our diversity, but because of our diversity.